Jason joins us now. Fabulous stuff. Jason, to see you. lovely to have you. Great um, to be here. Before I ask any questions, have you read David's wardrobe? Because you've got a shirt on very similar I've to what David has. A, a shirt just like that. <laughs> you should have worn it tonight, quite Jason. Now, but but uh, yes, I have my red uh, nice. 10 Looking very degrees Scottish. And... You can't beat a tartan check. No, you yeah. can't. No. So tell us why you've decided to perform your whole debut album. Um, it was just a really good idea for a tour. I think, you know, popular culture has a cycle, and I think. Um, you know, you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Mm. And I think for a lot of people out there, this album is a big part of their childhood. And it's just nice to have a concept to sort of mm. grip onto when you, you go out and do a tour, as opposed to just keep playing the greatest hits all the time. Mm. So this, is, this has gone down really well, really, really well. And this is the first time that you've played the, the album in its entirety? Entirety, like, yeah. And what was that like when you made that decision? Were you, you nervous of doing that or did you think, this is... This is not a problem. Well, I didn't listen to the album before I made the decision, so I just sort of thought it would be a great idea. But, you know, with songs like Too Many Broken Hearts, Seal With A Kiss, Nothing Classics. Can Divide Us, yeah. especially for you, you know, it really sort of stacks up as a, as a piece. Um, and we do the show sort of in two halves. Um, we do a bit of a, a greatest hits acoustic section and then we get into the actual album itself. And, you know, it, it has its natural, natural momentum and yeah. people, people love it, you know, and the reaction has been extraordinary. So oh, really gosh. looking forward to tomorrow night yeah. and Aberdeen in May. Yeah. So, and yeah. you were in Kilmarnock last night as yes. well, yeah? Yes, yes. Glasgow's in. Royal Concert Hall tomorrow night. Yes. Turin, how do you find it when you're away from your family? Because it was your daughter Molly, she was five yesterday. How does that feel when you miss family um, moments? Look, I do a lot of touring. It's a lot easier when I'm on the road as my own entity as opposed to uh, theatre shows. Theatre shows are usually week, weeklies, you know, yeah. and eight yeah. shows a week is, is exhausting. I don't miss that so much. Right. Um, it's, it's easier with a show like this because I normally have three days on and then a day off, so I'll get, I'll get to see them on do Saturday. Do you Skype them and stuff? Uh, yeah, FaceTime is a good thing. Yeah. Um, but sometimes, you know, I've got kids that don't really want to see me in FaceTime, <laughs> to be honest with you. So it's sort of, I end up speaking to Ange most of the time. But the honesty my, of a parent. <laughs> yeah, it's the truth, though. Um, but, but the other day when it was her birthday, that, that I'd love to have been there, but, but unfortunately, I got the crowd to sing happy birthday to yeah. her, so, so that was fun. So did you have to get an extra special present organised then since you weren't there? Uh, I've had, I mean, the mothers are going to kill me for this, but I have had so much going on, I have not <laughs> had the chance to. But I will, I will find so now something. You. Now you've reminded me, I will, <laughs> when I see her, I will definitely, but, but the family have spoiled her, so yeah. she's, not, she's it, not without. In they any don't need family. much when they're five anyway, do they? Oh. Do you know, it's funny, my wife said this morning, we got her a blow-up uh, balloon with a picture and happy birthday on it, and of course it comes in this box, massive box, and she gets all these toys. The only thing she's interested in is the box. Yeah. Crazy. The Save yourself a fortune. And that's, that's what I, you know, it's a big box. She can make, cut things out and get in. And you were sitting with a box this morning, playing, you gave it got a parcel delivered this morning. More fun with the box. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Anyway. Okay. So, if you want that box, Jason, I, 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 I think I'll, I'll pass on your box, yeah. but never, right, never, I'll never go, I'll move along. Move along. We will move on from that, well, actually. Yes. <laughs> now, you mentioned there theatre. You've done a lot of theatre runs in the UK. I've, uh, is there any performance that's the most memorable for you? Oh, they're all special in their own ways. I mean, Priscilla has been a big part of my life, only because it's a great mm. uh, musical. It's a very current musical. It's modern. It's an Australian story. That always um, stands out to me. Um, I did King's Speech last year. Look, mm. I, I'm very lucky. I've, I've really cultivated the live work for me, and I think this tour um, is a testament to the following that I've had mm. in theatre, that people are actually coming to this to see what I do, and they know that when they buy a ticket, they're going to get uh, a good show. Mm. So. If you didn't do what you were doing just now, we've had a couple of tweets in. Sylvia McFarlane's asking, if you weren't an entertainer, mm. what, what would you do? Probably an artist. Yeah. yeah. Probably graphic, probably commercial art, maybe sort of mm. something in that, that, that aspect of work, yeah. 
Do you do that in your? Do you do a lot? I of do a bit art actually. Your yeah, I used to do a lot in the '90s. I was a little bit more out of control in those days. A bit more creative or not. Um, but <laughs> I have picked up the, um, the, the 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 artistic thing, and yeah, I might do something with that soon. Actually. Now, also, just a very quick question. Neighbours is still broadcast in the mm. UK. Do you ever watch it when you're here? Do you want an honest answer? Yeah. No. Would you ever go back <laughs> to doing it? Uh, no. It's it's it's. It's had its day for me, and my father's in it at the moment. Actually, he plays Doug Willis. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I have very fond memories of those times. But uh, no, my days and neighbours have. Not even if they had a bouncer. Uh, no, bouncer's dead. Oh, Unfortunately, no. I hate to disappoint everyone, but bouncer's well and truly <laughs> gone. I have a daughter now, apparently, in the show. Oh, all right. So, yeah. <laughs> things wow. what happens when you're not there. Things, yeah. Happen. Yeah. things happen. Yeah. Things change. Yeah. Uh, Jason, you're going to stick with us throughout the show tonight, so we'll chat to you uh, a little bit later on and the we'll show. And we'll give you your tea as well. Oh, yeah, you're getting your wow. tea tonight, yeah. yeah. Wow. We don't know what's in the menu you yet. Any wine? We'll, tell you so. we'll see, we'll see. See what happens. <laughs> it's Scotland. Come on, you love a drink. <laughs> now, let us cross over live to 